Good morning, Deify here, and welcome, kind of back, kind of not, to The Sims 4. Uh, I don't, well, I kind of do have a challenge in mind on this one, but it's slightly different, mainly just because I wanted to play this game again, so I'm just kind of going to play, I'm going to see if the challenge fits slightly, I'm going to edit it a little bit, just because I started with a female sim in my legacy, and this one will probably be run in a similar manner, but this will kind of be, I haven't really thought about any rules at all, I haven't looked up any actual rules, but it'll kind of be a little change on the Queen Bee Challenge, which someone commented on a video many months ago, back when I was still playing The Sims 4, and what it pretty much means is you take one sim, and then you uh, have a hundred children with them, which I mean, like, that's a lot. So I don't know if I'll get through the entire challenge, but I like the idea of playing one sim, keeping them alive by fulfilling wishes and whatnot, and then, you know, finally just... Honestly, the real appeal was letting M the, 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 is it MC Command Center run amok with its story progression. Because if we have like a hundred kids from one guy, that family tree is going to be crazy near the end. But unlike in the Creech Legacy, we'll still have the Founder, so it'll just be kind of interesting. Plus I just bought some new expansions and I'm just really excited to try it. Oh man, like, hey, but what happens, like, first off, I'm just gonna randomize all oh, this guy, he's pretty sweet. I don't know, I feel like I should actually make the sim myself, though. Oh, I like, I like this guy, he's, yeah, this guy's got it going on. So, what, what are these, oh my gosh awful. <laughs> I love it. Hmm, so yeah, I'm just kind of gonna mess around. Oh, we gotta go with the red if we do that. I'm just kind of gonna mess around, gonna find a sim that I like, and, and I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, well, I think I've done it. It only took me like 10 minutes or so. Had a little fun with the last name, though. His name is Christian Whitlinger. Which, which I went because it sounds kind of cool, but it was right next to some other last names that I would have taken just because I thought they were funny, such as White Bread. I have a huge list of last names that I use for some of my programming, and one of them was in fact White Bread, which I've never heard, but I like it. And then near it was Wheelie, and I was like, oh my gosh, Christian Wheelie would be the funniest thing ever. But I went with Whitlinger because it actually sounds, it sounds pretty good. He's a serial romantic. Because we are kind of going on the back burner to have a 100 uh, child challenge or so. So he had to be outgoing. Then I also just made him a music lover and kind of a goofball. All things told, outgoing aside though, he, he is, he's kind of like me. And that's just kind of cool. He's got like this nice laid back style for everyday wear, but he suits up real nice. Didn't change his athletic at all, I thought the orange and black was pretty cool, he's even got a nice, like, uh, um, uh, flower balance wristband there. <laughs> Just, you know, the, the electrolytes and the, the, the magnets, and, oh, I didn't realize, but apparently he wears glasses when he works out. Now that I've noticed that, I'm never gonna not notice it, and I'm gonna keep it that way. He keeps the orange up for when he goes to bed, no big deal, and then he's just got, like, this... This nice pink shirt that he's just like, man, I never wear that pink shirt because I'm always a little nervous about it. But what about when I go to some rad parties? Yeah, that's good. And then swimwear, didn't need to change that in the slightest though, and he's also got that hat. Uh, like, I can't remember what it's called, but like the British cabbie hat is how I always call it. So that is Christian Whitlinger. This is going to be... A lot of fun. Yeah, let's uh, save and play. Oh man, I haven't played this game in so long. I hope I remember how. Oh, ho, ho. what do we got now? So we got San Mishuno, which is like the downtown apartment area, but also the Forgotten Hollow, which is like the vampire area. Interesting. Well, San Mishuno was where I was going to go anyways, because apartments seem pretty gosh darn cool. So we've got some units available like Hackham House, Jasmine Suites, Culpepper Apartments, I mean I don't know what we can really afford. What are these? Just choosing an unoccupied lot like, oof. 
pretty expensive. The thing, what are, what are the shabbiest apartments you have? Those are eight thousand. And so a cool thing is that um, apartments have traits. I can't afford that lot apparently. I think it's going to be one of these two. So you can look at this. Like this one is historical and haunted, and this person is, has good schools and on ley line. That looks like it has baby chances. <laughs> Full of funky fertile earth energy. Twins are born here more often than not and there are good schools. Whoo! I love it. This place looks great. I think you can even... well I don't know if you can like edit it. That would be kind of cool if you if you could or like if it like changed over a while but weekly rent 500 but eh, yikes we're gonna move in there though. Weekly rent 500. What does that make it like 2,000 a month? Well, all right, sounds fine. Welcome to your brand new house. Don't forget to pay your rent on time. Yeah, thanks. I don't know how to do that. I haven't really done anything. Oh, it's nice and furnished though. We got a double bedroom and room for two kids. But I mean, that seems fine. I mean, maybe maybe we should like first just like visit our apartment. Just like, hey neighbor, I'm just moving in. Are you pumped? Leave a firming note? Aww. You can be so sweet. That would just be adorable. Yeah, let's leave an affirming note, I guess. Okay, so I needed a loading screen for that. And... Wait, really? I needed a loading screen for that? Oh, okay, that's gonna be slightly weird. Who do we got here? Jasminder Beta and Arun Beta. Hmm. Hold up. I just realized something. Let me save as. Uh, this will be. We'll just call it Whitlinger. I just want to check something. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Golly. Yeah, I know. I'm just doing this. I'm not sure if I, like, made a new game or if I'm still running in, like, the one. Yeah, I must be because it doesn't say I have played people here. I can check, though. Where'd they live? They lived in. Willow Creek, didn't they? I think so. Yeah, this looks... These look unlived in. The Goths are still here. The BFFs. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, let's go back to San Mishuno, though. My bad. I was just a little curious. Uh, load, load up here. I want to play him. He's at 2A Jasmine Suites. And then toddlers. As toddlers gain communication skill, they unlock new options for conversation and progress. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so what do we got here? It's it's lovely and something about books, but I don't know. What's up? What's up, Arun? Hey, I'm Christian Whitlinger. You know, I just moved across the <laughs> across the hall. Me. Look, so you can see my apartment. It's the one with the blue wall. I don't know if yours has a blue wall, so it probably does, because that's just the hallway. And then is this like your, is this your wife? Can I go like, uh, chit chat with her? You got like a nice place. Oh, and do you have a babe? Well, no. It looks like you almost have a child. You've got like a bunch of stuff for having a children, but not really seeing anything. Hey guys, well, so I just wanted to come over and say hi, you know. Um, <laughs> things about vampires. Let's discuss neighborhood changes. How about that new guy, Christian, moving in right across the hall, huh? I'm like, oh, oh yeah, he seems like a total dweeb. So, are you pregnant then? I think I see a little bit of a bump there, just if I had to guess. It's something I can only say in The Sims, because I might get punched in the real world if I said that, so let's not do that. Enthuse about some of the sweet new albums. Okay, Christian's outgoing, outgoing seems to need to socialize more often, but are emotionally strengthened by doing so. And he's got the charisma skill, uh-huh, that's fine. And he's a music lover, he needs music in their lives often, and are happiest when playing music or discussing it with others. Awesome, well we certainly need to do some of his wishes. Search for vampire information on a computer. I can't imagine why you'd want to do that. Do you guys, do you guys happen to have a computer I could borrow? It looks like no. 
fat lot of help you guys are. Gosh. Okay, well, I just, I just want, uh, I just want you guys to know that I'm here. I want to give you guys my number, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go move in now. You guys, you guys do what you want. Okay, I just wanted, just wanted to say Heidi Ho. Introduce myself, make sure that if I die, you guys feel welcome into my apartment to come find my body and report it to the police. You know, just, 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 you know, everyday stuff like that. Man, we are gonna have so many children here. So first thing we gotta do is we probably wanna buy him a computer. Now he's looking at this, oh, I need to remember how to do this. He's looking at this like, where? Am I gonna put a computer? And I will respond, that is a real good question. I'm assuming right there. Can we get something that like matches the table? Do they have like uh that's pretty close. That's further away. Hmm. I want something that like matches, you know? Maybe that's a little light. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's get that. We'll get the mega desk. We'll splurge a little. No big deal. And then let's get you, like, not a terrible computer, maybe, like an all-in-one. See, we'd have $395 after getting the ghost disappearing. <laughs> well, I mean, I would be silly not to waste all my money on a computer, wouldn't I? Hmm, yes, I would. Okay, so we can just... So we'd probably get, like, a better color. Like, I don't want that. There we go. It's just a nice blue... Blue office chair, perfect, okay. Cause now, we can go, we can go find a job because we just spent $10,000 on a computer, Christian. You're gonna need one. And I already have a new job in mind. Like, they're, they're critics. Critics are, that seems pretty cool. Everyone has an opinion, but not everyone is paid to have it. Sims who feel they have superior judgment can enter the critic career. Whether it's the foods or the arts, your sim will have something to say about it, and others will listen. Actually, that one seems like pretty cool. What were, what were the other ones that were adding? Politician? Join a life of public service? These are all from the City Life expansion, by the way. Vampires are from the Vampires pack. Um, and then toddlers are just free, so that's awesome. From protesting against the unjust to gathering donations for good causes or even collecting the occasional bribe as a means to an end, politics is always interesting. So you can either be a politician or a charity organizer. And this was the one that I was originally thinking about it. What's trending? Where's the best food in town? Who's the most interesting celebrity? Start a career in social media to be the person that answers these questions for their followers. Blog and check in at venues to keep followers coming back for more. See, this is the one I was thinking about. And we can even get him into like a real career with like public relations. But, but he is a music lover. So honestly, let's go for Critic. That seems like it'll be really cool. And they want me to practice writing, um, get a jump start and accept the assignment. Yeah, I don't know what assignment you accepted, but we certainly accepted it. Okay, well, let's go uh, practice writing real quick. Oh, we have work from home assignments. Like, these are more than just... Whoa, they've changed this. That's pretty cool. So they want me to level up the writing skill. If they want me to do that, then I'm going to actually, like, do some work. Let's write a column. I don't want to just practice writing if there's, like, better stuff I can be doing. So how does one pay their rent? Hmm, I'm assuming, let's see, is there, yeah, there's a go downstairs. There's probably a mail room there. I did not want you to travel. Who's Mizuki Yamamoto though? Hey, shoot, you know what, let's go traveling. I don't know who Mizuki is, but we are just gonna go hang out with her. I didn't even mean to click travel. Oh, but it'll totally work out. Where do we want to go? Well, Planet Honeypop. <laughs> Why is there Honeypop in this game? Okay, well, there's great acoustics there. It's a nice karaoke bar. That's pretty cool. What do we got down there? Oh, it's this entire building. The Stargazer Lounge. Wow, romantic aura. You don't say. We got their Arts Quarter. This is pretty cool. Caspa Gallery. Spice Market? Huh. 
So this is, this is so it seems like all these are like different. Yeah, they're like different districts. That's really cool. I love it. And uptowns. So this is where we want to move. We want to move into like the Alto apartments, but. Let's just, let's dream about what we're going to do and take this random girl, Mizuki, who I have, I don't think I've met. <laughs> who are you? I mean, I guess I'm not totally going to argue all things told. Ooh, 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 look at this swanky place on the roof. Okay, well, I don't know who you are. Oops, camera's a little wonky, but uh, uh, very nice to meet you. Let's discuss our favorite band with you. Like, hey. You want to hear about this sweet new band I found? They're called, um, yeah, they're called Praise Vampire Lifestyle. <laughs> it's an awesome band. Who are you? Oh my gosh, there's so many new people to meet. Gita Rasova? Rasoya? I think it was Rasoya. I'm not, not exactly certain. Could check. There's so many new people to meet. So many people that we can impregnate. Except for Gita, probably. Brennan Joyce? So you can do, so you can watch karaoke. I think there's only one karaoke machine, which kind of makes sense. Oh, but they, they brought bubbles. Let's go sit and try the bubbles together. <laughs> I've never understood the bubbles. The bubbles, it, it, it seems like, like straight up hookah. Like if I had to guess, like, are we at a hookah bar now? I, I really think we are. Why do you not wanna, why do you not want a hookah with me? Are you opposed to bubbles? I mean, I guess something like that must be for sure. Well, I mean, we can gossip. Let's get to know you. Tell me about the real Mizuki who I just met earlier. Today. Oh, she's my landlord. That's how I know her. Oh, this is amazing. This is the. Oh, she's mean. She's mean. Let me just let me just find out. Like Mizuki. Are you single or are you that kind of mean landlord? I'm just, I'm just asking for a friend, you know? It would also be really cool. I don't know if you can be. Oh, she is single. I don't know if you can be like a landlord of your own apartments or something. I, I, I'm gonna go out and assume not, but it would be kind of cool if you could like have tenants and like you live in like the first floor and they all live like upstairs or something you could have like three apartments in there that you need to collect rent from and like occasionally if they if they don't pay their rent you gotta go like bug them or something i don't know that would be kind of cool but mizuki we just moved here you're our landlord and i would rather not be on bad terms with you if you know what i mean you want to hear about praise vampire lifestyle again because i will tell you all about their entire discography Heck, I will go sing you some Praise Vampire. Oh, country? No, they're not a country band. We're going to go... Well, I guess we can... Uh, well, yeah, Praise Vampire Lifestyle is obviously a, a, a Dark House mix. Yeah, For Your Love, you know, their hit song with the chorus. Uh, For Your Love, I Would Kill Anyone. For Your Love, I Would suck their blood for your love it's 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 a lot catchier when praise vampire lifestyle is singing it let me just tell you that i i can't do it justice okay but hey you want to go uh you want to go watch me do the karaoke the landlord's over here just like what are you doing hey, 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 hey. um i'm sorry did i say you could uh, you could sing no so we got the singing skill so we can improve his skill by clicking on a microphone or on himself and then selecting practice singing. You can now select sing solo for house, jazz, and pop songs and can sing country by selecting sing duet. Wow, well, yeah, okay. He, uh, ooh, he does, he does not really do Praise Vampire Lifestyle any justice at all. Like, it's actually terrible. Mizuki's just like, yeah, can I turn this off, please? We gotta get back into the habit of taking pictures of everything. Oh, who is this cool guy? Bako Jang. Man, he is a cool cow. Look at, look at, he's got like citrus colors going on. Whew, love it. Okay, Mizuki's just like, oh my gosh, can you like please not? But uh, yeah, we did it. We did it. Yeah, so, so, uh, let me go tell you. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, Praise Vampire's Lifestyle hit single for your love. It's a good song. It's, I, they sing it better than I do, um, sometimes. Uh, live, they're, they're not so good live. I've, I've seen them a couple times, and 
is. He is. They're, they're just they're just all right. We can now perform Bright and Day Sharp. on other Sims. Oh, well, that's just nice. Can give her our apartment key? Oh, that's really cute. Here, you're my landlord, so I guarantee you. Wow, who's the angry brigade here? Vivian Lewis and Myra Venkataraman? It's a sweet name right there, but hey, here's the key to my apartment. And she's like, dude, are you freaking kidding me? I've got like a hundred of these. Don't revoke the apartment key. No, 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 no. We've, we've just met her. Oh, we've learned that she's a landlord at San Mishuno Rentco. Is she now? Well, well, who knew? What are the odds? How would you go? What? Use and question mark. Use and question mark? Oh my gosh. So HAL 9000 over here just like destroyed us. Use and question mark. I don't... I'm so confused. I can't really say I understand, but whatever. Did 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 she leave? Yeah, she left. Okay, well, I guess it's time for us to head home then, because Mizuki obviously doesn't want to hang out here anymore. But it was so romantic. Come on, girl. <laughs> I may have already found the person that I'm going to set him up with at least first. I mean, we are going. For a hundred kids, like there, there is time. Let's go write. Yeah, let's go continue writing our our column. I feel like we didn't get a good chance to finish that. But look at how nice this place is. Like this is a pretty decent sized bathroom right here. It would be nice if that was a shower. I don't know. Can I change the furniture in here? Probably, because they they're probably considering these. Well, wait. Who am I kidding? You can always. Well, not if it comes furnished. You probably can't. Huh. I'm not really sure. Okay, well, I think we already wrote a column. We could write a genre book, but no, no, no. Let's just practice writing. If anything, we're going to be writing Praise Vampire Lifestyle fan fiction because apparently that's just the joke I'm going to roll with in this episode and maybe even this series. Look at how pink everything is from the drawers to the, to the couch to... To, to literally nothing else is as pink as those things are, but I mean, hey, it's still pretty pink. Okay, so we can now self-publish books. Good. So what does it want? So we leveled up our writing skill. It looks like that's all it wants from us. So maybe we should just go to bed then? Yeah, what time is it? Set well, it's only 7.21 p.m. Pfft. Why am I having trouble finding my way around this? But he doesn't really have anything that he wants to do. A little interesting. Um, so let's have him, you know what? Just honestly, just keep practicing writing. You're, sounds like you're gonna need it to be a critic. He wants to have a boyfriend or girlfriend and go on two dates. Oh, in dear time, my friend Christian, in dear time. Like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. You work tomorrow, six to 11. You uh, don't work all that much, so you're not going to be making a whole lot of money right off the bat. But that's all right. That's okay. You're going to do great anyway. That didn't really work out too well. I apologize to everyone who needed to sit through that. Oh, man. Yeah, look at his, him power napping. It's just it's so, so good. I love how I just splurged on this huge computer. Like, that's the only impressive thing that he owns. Maybe next should be a better TV. Or a stereo. Like, we gotta get this guy a sound system. He needs music in his life. Okay, well, first off, you should definitely go clean that up. Second off, it's like 4 a.m., so why don't you go... Why don't you just go have a quick meal? You can have a little bit more yogurt. Wait, what did that say? Did it, say it said it was vegetarian safe? Is water vegetarian? Water doesn't say vegetarian safe! Uh-oh! Sounds like we got a problem here. I didn't make him a vegetarian, did I? No, I don't think so. I contemplated it, because he seemed kind of like the guy who would be. You gonna, you gonna clean that up? Good, good. Then go take a bath. Can't remember, so I think you need a shower. Work for, whoa! Go to work, work from home, or take PTO. Whoa, that's cool. No, let's go to work, bucko. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so. 
do you just go to work now or or what is that just like my decision of what you're going to do later because right now you're not heading off to work oh we chatted with someone cool what's that you want to come on, let me see this you want to hug someone yeah let's just let's just pin that and you can tell a joke too buy an instrument we should have you buy an instrument also well christian's off to work so i guess we're just gonna chill in this sweet little apartment all on our own i mean no big deal he should be back why did it go back to 9 a.m uh who are you are these the mailboxes get mail pay rent okay well now i figured out how to pay rent and rent is not due yet and nothing has been delivered for my sim Okay, what now? Who is this guy? Raj Rasoya and Gita Rasoya? Well, I don't really care. You guys coming to visit me because it's real annoying. I'm not here. No, the welcome wagon. Oh, she is totally pregnant. Welcome to the neighborhood. People are coming to visit, get to know you, maybe even bring you fruitcake. No pressure. Just get to know the people and enjoy the company. Okay, well, we can do that. Let's go invite our neighbors in. Hello. Gita, would you maybe like to not stand in the wall, if I had to guess? Promoted to story researcher already? Christian Willinger is off to a grand old start. Uh, his next shift is Wednesday at 10 a.m., so he even has tomorrow off. How cool is that? Let's get inside, everyone. Quick, lock them in there and burn the place down. Take the money and run. No, that's probably not a good idea. Well, thank you all for coming. This is so unexpected. I need to meet you. Greet new neighbor. I don't really know if she's a neighbor. You seem like you only have one actual neighbor. Thank you, everyone. It means so much. Did you guys bring me fruitcake? It said you might, but I don't see any fruitcake. Wait, someone did. Or he just brought a slice or something. Did he? Because I don't see any fruit cake. Fruit cake. Well, that is just that is just mean. Okay, well let's goof around because you know we're a goofball. We gotta get the, the playfulness out. You want to make a friend on? You want to search for vampire information? We can do that. Search for information on vampires. Hey buddy, how about you get out of my chair? Huh? I'm trying to look in to see how many of the singers of Praise Vampire Lifestyle are actually vampires. And I really would like to know this. Is there a skill? We discovered vampire secrets. Oh my gosh, there is. There's a vampire lore skill. And we reached level two. Seems to be a lot of knowledge he can unlock if he continues to research. He has discovered the Von Flavius Vampire Emporium while searching for vampires. He can now purchase Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume 1 on the computer under Vampire Secrets. I don't really know if I care about that. That's kind of cool, I guess. Don't I don't get it. He wants to practice writing. Well, I mean we can also do that. Why don't you just get going on that? You can practice writing while chit chatting with people. It's perfect. This is the perfect way to make friends. Just like, oh yeah, you know, I want to talk with you guys, but I also want to do stuff. Okay, we should also discuss our favorite band because he really wants to. Where is that? Uh, D, D. Discuss favorite band with uh, Arun B Bita. Is that the same Bita as... No, I'm oh, sorry. You're Gita Rasoya. You guys aren't related at all. And Raj Rasoya. You two are related and you two are related. And you, Gita, are not related to the Bitas. Okay, got it. Well, give an apartment. We already did that. Oh my gosh. Let's joke about politicians because she looks like a chef. So she probably won't care. And let's ask the baby's due date, now that I'm 100% certain that she is uh, actually pregnant and not just pretending or something. Let's gossip about the neighbors. <gasps> Did you hear about the Betas? The Betas are ridiculous. Am I right? I don't think they it, it went through, but whatever. Debate the existence of vampires. You know they're real. Excuse me, I am a level 2 vampire lore person, and vampires are totally real. Listen to Praise Vampire Lifestyle's debut album, Half of Us Are Vampires, and tell me that it's not all serious. Let's discuss the neighborhood changes. Like, can we make friends with you? We should invite me Mizuki over. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, you want to come on over? Really should get going. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, everyone's leaving anyways. Well, thankfully, Mizuki at least is deciding to come over. So she has a key to my apartment. No, she still knocks, I guess. 
That's cool. I was kind of thinking that maybe you would, um, you know, not knock because, I don't know, it seems like now that you have my key, you should just, um, if I invite you over, you can just walk in. Now let's go read about the festival. What is this? She's mean and hot-headed. Oh my gosh, this girl sounds like the absolute worst person in the world, but it's also amazing. <gasps> There's a hackathon? Oh, that's so cool. GeekCon. Location at ha Planet Honey Pop. Yeah, like you get geeks to show up there. Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's got a hackathon, the ultimate gaming test. You can explore space without the hassle of building your own rocket. Just no funny business. Oh, man. And improved skill gain. Well, that's kind of cool. But that's not really our thing. Hey. Hey. Alan, back up. Mizuki is mine. <laughs> I... I met her first, which is actually probably not true at all, but let's go hug her. And then you want to send a playful text, give the apartment. Well, I mean, you're not going to give the apartment key. I can tell you that just because it just doesn't seem right. So this is my mailbox and this is their mailbox. We're well, good to know. Okay. I mean, do, do you maybe do you maybe want me to give you like a little compliment or something? Just like, hey girl. You look real cute, and she's like, oh, thank you. I'm just do an impression to her. Uh, and yeah, use a, use a pickup line on her. She, she didn't like my impression, so that's a little bit problematic. She's like not liking anything. Let's go and make a flirtatious joke. Or or don't. I don't know what you're doing. You're eating. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing to do right there. Whatever. So yeah, Mizuki, this is my apartment. You probably know, considering the fact that you own the property and all that. But yeah, it's pretty spacious. Pretty nice, a little uh, big for just one person, if you uh, if you know what I mean. You know, we've got four beds, or at least four sleeping areas in in this place, and you know, there's just it's just it's just little old me, no big deal. But yeah, we can we can just like brighten your day. It's cool. It's cool. We don't need to, we don't need to take this fast or anything. I'm just saying, you're like you're cute. I'm definitely cute. <laughs> oh, Christian. You person right there. What am I going to do with you? Just just gossip a little bit. Gossip about the betas because they seem a little weird. Just got to say. What is her last trait, though? Oh, she did not like my impressions, though. But how about you just compliment her appearance? What else do you want to do? Give it, oh, that's good. You're not going to... You've already given your apartment key. Schedule a date? Oh, yeah, we can do that. Can you schedule one? I don't I don't really know. What happens if I ask you on a date? Well, apparently nothing. What happens if I ask you on a date? Do we... Okay. Well, hey, before you leave, since you gotta go, you know, you could probably go out with me. See, this doesn't look like we're scheduling anything. So that's a party place. Okay, we could go to the gym together bracing breezes or we can just go let's just go let's just go to the park you know no big deal i think i think that'll be super fun and all that jazz yeah yeah let's go to the parks we'll do a quick date with mizuki to see where we can get things because we do have our nice serial romantic do you really think he wouldn't uh jump right on um um have, getting a girlfriend, especially with his landlord, like, there probably aren't any benefits in this game of uh, being together with your landlord, but, uh, you know, no no harm in trying. Have them become playful at the same time? That's gonna be difficult. Well, let's just let's tell you an inside joke. Let's uh, joke about politicians. You know, tell a funny story, like, hey, we gotta get playful here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'll tell you even an outrageous story. Yeah, level 2 comedy, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. I'll tell a funny story. Come on, get going with this stuff. There we go. Playful at the same time. And we've got to flirt and have deep conversations. Let's make a flirtatious joke a little bit. And then, do we have deep conversations? Yes, we do. Okay, good. I was a little worried that we didn't. It just seemed like something that might happen. And then we'll just actually flirt with her. 
you know, in order to be fair to this day, I still really don't know what exactly that entails. Flirt with your date while flirting. Well, did you just seriously fall asleep on a date? Let me tell you, that is not what you want to do. So why don't you just compliment her appearance? More choices? You know, make a move. You know, go for it. Just snuggle up real closer. Oh, yeah, the old yawn. Not as good as counting shoulders, but whew. Ooh, yes, whisper sweet nothings into her ear and then tickle her mercilessly. I'm certain she will not at all get mad at you for that. Okay, look look deeply into her eyes. Yeah, give her a massage. Because apparently we can do that already. Yeah, and then and then snuggle. Then you guys can snuggle. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Is there a way I can get down like a little lower? I don't know. I can do this though. Oh, that's that's real nice. That is real nice, you two. Just had to be a landlord, didn't it? Blow a kiss, you know, just like oh. And she'll be like, oh, well, why did you blow me a kiss instead of giving me a kiss? And he'll just be like, I didn't know that that's what you wanted. And then, because <laughs> apparently that's his voice now, but she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I want. <laughs> she'll probably sound a little bit better than I will like that. And then, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. She's so excited. She's just like, dude, are you for freaking kidding me right now? We're not, our lips aren't even touching. But that's okay. That's all right. And then, you know what? Finally, ask your landlord to be your girlfriend. Because you, you said you wanted to have a boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't remember where it said that. He, over here, right? You have a boyfriend or girlfriend, and then go on two dates. So we'll get two-thirds of these out of the way. Not too shabby. Mizuki just became our girlfriend. We're both a flirty now. And it wants me to give her a massage. Aww. Where is it? Give. Is it not in here? Like, not this. A offer massage. There it is. It was give massage when we were sitting together. It's offer massage when we weren't. It's a little difficult to get used to. Well, let's brighten her day because, Mizuki, I have had such a fantastic day. I haven't had this great of a day in a very long time, and it's all because of you. I'm going to sleep now. Excuse me. I am very tired, and I don't have work tomorrow. Where's she going? Where are you going? What's in here? This is like a nifty little house, I guess. I need to tell you a dramatic story. You're in the girls' room, though. What do I do? And she's just like, I gotta get away from this guy. Okay. Well, yeah. Sure, Christian. You can nap. We literally can't do anything until she comes over here. Like, hello? Do you maybe wanna come over here? We can go. I saw something interesting. We can go woohoo in the observatory. You wanna go uh, end this date on a... Huh? A bang if you know what I mean and she's like oh I thought you'd never ask it's like oh yeah you know I'm gonna ask man public observatory have you no class and have you no shame but let's go they're, they're gonna do it oh, oh their Christian is about to woohoo for the first time Congratulations. I think there's dangerous woohoo on here. We can try for baby with her, but I mean, we're not ready for that. Date complete. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Well, great work, Mizuki. I'm heading home. I'm exhausted. I recommend that you do the same. Okay, thank you. There are fireworks going on somewhere. I did not see where. How did she get to disappear here and I had to walk all the way to the edge? That seems a little unfair in my personal opinion but whatever at least work on the days we do have it is not until 10 a.m now so that's pretty good but let us get going to sleep and i'm gonna leave this here it's nice to be back playing this game i missed the sims a little bit and by a little bit i mean a lot of it so it's just it's cool to have something new to do I'm loving it. Apartments, vampires. We're going to explore a lot of these new expansion packs. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on The Sims 4, goodbye.